Hello there, this is Oracle here with a <laughs> karmic pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or science-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Seeing as the overall energy being the Five of Swords at that previous reading, I wanted to make a separate reading to see if there's anything that you guys can prepare for <laughs> given this season. Okay, just to piggyback off of that last reading, because this is strong, okay? Whatever this is, is really, really strong for those who are being activated right now. So we're going to see what this energy entails, okay? It's always good to know. This may be about you, this may not be about you. But um, I'm going to be grabbing a separate deck for this. You guys could be more visible with Six of Wands. This could be a win, okay? A win is a win. <laughs> I'm hearing a win is a win. Yeah, and look, I barely shuffled. The Five of Swords is back <clears throat> on that Six of Wands, okay? This is going to be a prominent theme this season. The Five of Swords is jealousy, manipulation, needing to get the upper hand, pride, ego, get back energy, all that good stuff, okay? So we're going to see what this karmic reading wants to say. <laughs> I used to do this segment called Karmic Chronicles. I might reintroduce it this season just for you guys to have a little bit of like foresight if it applies for you, okay? What do we need to know regarding karmic energy? <laughs> what do we need to know regarding karmic energy? My eyes grew wide because I saw the goat man. Like literally in that split second, I saw the goat man. Okay, someone might come in here with a fake form of communication with the page of pentacles in the reverse. I'm also hearing false job or uh, fake number, okay? What do we need to know about this energy? Where the collective is concerned for their highest good and all involved, please and thank you. <clears throat> Somebody here might be a grudge holder. You might become aware of a person who um, you are. Right, okay, I'm seeing the awareness is why one should not entertain or reconnect with the past energy. You could be a queen of cups dealing with the king of wands. This is someone who might be interested in all the wrong things or always dealing with the next best thing. I'm hearing a shiny new toy. So this might be very, very specific, okay? This reading is going to highlight something for a person. You could have water in your chart and the person you're dealing with could have fire in their chart, but I'm not going to harp on signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There is a light shed on why you are likely not to reconnect with this person or are encouraged not to reconnect with this person. You're considered a safety blanket for this individual. And this is someone who, again, a shiny new toy. They're interested in whatever excites them next, in whatever strokes their ego next, in whatever looks nicer than you. This is someone who compares other situations to your connection specifically and if it looks brighter nicer in the moment this person will pursue it without a shadow of a doubt and you know this this is going to be a very specific reading and i might do this segment more often so that i can pinpoint certain cases that help benefit people in the relationships they have okay spirit is going to shed a bright light on your case as to why you reconnecting with this person is a bad idea you're very sweet, nurturing, much like a mom, okay? You could be a woman. The King of Wands to the Page of Wands, it's like this person is like, oh, wow, is that a message coming in? Is that someone interested in me? In me? <laughs> With the Four of Cups, there's something here that mm, reads like emotional unavailability. This is someone who has insecurities. This is someone who they are insecure about showing up as a king of pentacles for you. So this person might have, have financial insecurities. This person might have insecurities being committed. This person might be non-committal. They know it. This person is haunted by what they could be. Does that make sense? It's like, well, I could be a respectable, honorable, masculine energy. I could be a husband to this woman if, if I could get over my hangups. My fears, my anxieties, my insecurities, and my emotional unavailability in the Four of Cups. This is someone who is too distracted by the next best shiny toy to step up as a husband. 
Dang. This is what is under judgment so that you can get something solid and committed in a new energy with the Page of Cups. This is someone who is not going to take five hours <laughs> or not even five hours, five days to respond. The Six of Pentacles is a give, giving and receiving an even exchange when it comes to communication with the emotions here with the Page of Cups. This is someone who takes their time. But it's like I also get this energy of you will be a bit more healed, maybe still scorned when you're going to deal with this new person. Your connection with this masculine is under judgment so that you can get a commitment you deserve. This person is not committing to you. You're well aware of it. I feel this this to be a situation where you are currently together, okay? You are currently together. This is someone who could be on their phone a lot, but they're haunted by the shadow of who they could be, which is the King of Pentacles, which is not which is not them, okay? And you're going to see it this season. Now, either you already are made aware of it, um, you could be a Pisces or an Aquarius, or you could have a strong sense of intuition, or you are a star seed, okay? All right. Let's get it. We have the Queen of Wands. Oof. Justice. Somebody could be taking this individual to court. Family court, I'm hearing. <laughs> I have Justice, Crooked Ten of Cups, which is like family energy, and the Queen of Wands. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse. Wow. This is somebody who is talking about something that happened at a residence. This is a very specific reading. The four of wands in the reverse is like a broken relationship, something called off, okay, disharmony, no stable structure. There is a case regarding someone, a queen of wands. This could be another woman. Another woman could be taking this person to court. With the Knight of Wands, this is someone who freely, freely pursued an individual, <laughs> okay? Sowing their royal youths, whatever that is, for attention, okay? This person feels really good topping up on supply, I'm hearing. And there's, there's a person external to that relationship that they have gotten into that is taking them to court. It's like, <laughs> this is part of their karma, I'm hearing. So that person that I described in the top of the reading that is in and out of this Queen of Cups' life, there's another woman taking this person to court about something. Something could have happened, as I said, as a residence, or there's something here that could have gotten called off, a breakup of a sort with the Two of Cups in the reverse. Yes, it's like <laughs> the fool. Someone wants to break free. We have the Knight of Cups. This is a free roaming energy. This is someone who likes their freedom. They like the freedom to express themselves. This person reads like a nomad. This person loves to be a nomad. This person maybe travels a lot as well. The Empress in the reverse. Part of this person's karma is dealing with a, a woman who doesn't value themselves. This is a, an Empress in the reverse is someone who could be like a Jezebel spirit. Either they're overly seductive throws themselves at others, um, very needy, codependent, clingy. Um, it's all the negative traits. They could be very, they badmouth people if necessary. They, they might have um, forms of emotional manipulation. It's like constant need. There's no reciprocation, full of themselves. This person may be materialistic. Um, this person might have mother wounds. Okay, whatever it is, the person they're dealing with that is somehow taking them to court, okay? Um, is their karma. That's a full blown that's a full blown Jezebel spirit, okay? That Empress in the reverse gave me that, okay? Woo! Okay, what else is this story trying to say? This is a very specific karmic reading. This person is someone is absolutely nervous and stressed out. They're haunted by dealing with this person. They're haunted by dealing with this Jezebel like energy. Okay, I'm also hearing seductive. This is someone who is tempted because, as I said, there are certain traits that this person possesses where it's like they're always <laughs> looking at the next best shiny thing or person of interest that wants to give and receive with them sexually, intimately. They love bomb, okay? It's like this is a free-roaming love bomber. 
and now they're nervous about their fate. They might also be nervous about their health. This person could be self-isolating for a long time. For some of you, this person could have ghosted you for up to seven months or will ghost you for up to seven months until this ends organically. But you're encouraged to look at a different partner because this is a fallen king. Emperor in the reverse is a narcissistic energy who loves to control things their way, the way that best benefits their free roaming, nomad lover boy spirit. <laughs> what am I reading? Why is someone here anxiety ridden? Because their, their lies are catching up to them. Their negative deeds are catching up to them in this open case with a Jezebel spirit. That's literally what I'm getting. Queen of Wands, Empress in the reverse. This is someone who lacks self-love, self-respect, and self-worth. This is someone who's actively taking a person to court because she's... She, it's almost like this, this one thrives off of the exposure of this individual. This person is... Is, is nervous for getting caught up with what they uh, basically decided upon themselves once upon a time. It's like this person never thought they would have to answer to this, let alone in court. There could be some form of communication that is catching up to them as well. There could be evidence of, of phone mobile communication and this person could have denied, okay? It's like they don't even want to look at it. They don't even want to look at that at the fact that they have either done this or whatever this is on a mobile is presented in court. I'm getting very specific details here. Someone is anxiety ridden because there's evidence of communication that confirms whatever this Jezebel is taking them to court for. Damn. It's like I'm hearing deny, deny, deny the devil. Ooh. Someone is denying something very dark that they regret. This is a dark day for someone. The Tower, the Five of Cups. The Goat Man. This is the Goat Man collecting y'all through this woman. What do we need to know about this Empress in the reverse? So, what do we need to know about this emperor? This is someone who could be dealing with two men at the same time. My goodness. This is someone who's dealing with a crooked masculine as well. This man could be a husband when he wants to be. So sick. We have the King of Pentacles on top of the Queen of Wands slash Empress in the reverse. That is a husband. That's someone's husband. But this is someone who's maybe greedy, materialistic. That's how he attracts her, I'm hearing. And again, when he wants to be, he's a husband. This is a completely separate person, I'm hearing. This is a woman who put two men in competition with each other. So not only is a king of wands threatened by... An, it's like, oh, but I have more money than him. Oh, but I have a nicer car than him. Oh, she does this on purpose. She's operating from that entity. She's the trap. She's the catalyst. <laughs> She's the Venus flytrap operating in full effect. Damn, this is a very unsettling energy. But there's a, a, a married person right on top of her. Right on top of her energy. Damn. Judgment. Yeah, man. This whole situation is under judgment either in court... <laughs> judgment by upstairs judgment for these games she thrives on this she i'm here she knows exactly what she's doing she she's playing these people y'all it's like this is so sad for some of you this has something to do with a divorce for others of you this has something to do with a person moving out a broken relationship um, some kind of property also could have been lost here some of this king of pentacles where the hell did this one come from what a mess. The lovers. As I said, this is a this is somebody. That's a lover. I'm hearing one of them. Death card. Damn. The truth is going to put an ending to whatever love affair they had. I'm hearing a crooked man. 
a crooked man in business. For some of you, there's someone here who's forced to put an ending to whatever situationship they had with this truth because it's costing them a lot of money, I'm hearing. It's costing them a lot of money. A lot of money. Emphasis on a lot of money. This truth in court, this decision is, co is costing him. I'm hearing it's costing him a lot of money. And will put a permanent ending to whatever rendezvous they had because this is someone who's turning away with their tail between their legs. This is someone who wants to go heal. Yeah, temperance. They need to go heal. I'm here. This wrapped up. This feminine energy in the reverse is the exact embodiment of a Venus flytrap laced with honey. This was meant to happen the minute this person decided to entertain this individual, whether ever or again. This would have come, I'm hearing. I don't care if it took three years, six years, eight years, ten years. This would have been their fate. The minute they decided to deal with that person who has that particular entity attachment. Okay. Whoever is reading this is for. This person had no clue what they were dealing with. This person was on their energy like white on rice, the way this King of Pentacles fell right on top of that Venus flytrap. This is someone who could be a businessman. This could be someone who is a husband. This could be someone who had, had, I'm hearing, some form of reputation in a community. And not only that, this person pinned two people against each other. <laughs> two masculines to fight for each other. Fight against each other for that. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Queen of Swords to the Chariot. There's, there could be some kind of female lawyer on something trying to move the situation ahead. There could be an advisor or even a therapist telling this person, move on with your life. Okay. For some of you, you're the bitter feminine <laughs> by this situation, trying to move on with her life. If you dealt with this masculine, this is someone who's very toxic because I'm just hearing this no man's spirit. This is someone who loves the freedom of their independence. They, they, I'm, they can't be a committed individual. So either this person is a committed individual themselves or they are not, but they cannot, they don't represent the qualities of a spouse. Not in the slightest, not in the slightest. And that's what's getting thrown in their face with this case. I have no clue what this Queen of Wands is trying to pin on them, but it's here. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who's very insecure, financially codependent, ungrounded in the self. I mean, if it's an Empress in the reverse, it's most definitely a Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who is maybe very financially codependent, okay? I'm hearing there's one thing this person relies on and one thing alone. And I don't know what that is, okay? To each their own. The Eight of Swords speaks of insecurities. It's almost like this person has a trap. But they are the trap themselves. But they're also trapped in their own essence. This is very sad. Whoever this is, okay? Eight of Swords to the Emperor. This, this person has a sense of toxic masculinity themselves, even as a woman. I'm channeling a woman here because it's an Empress in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the upright. This is someone who might present themselves as a queen of wands, but they're really an empress in the reverse. This is someone who is attracted to men who are <laughs> not honorable. This person is the embodiment of a trap. And, and, and she creates fallen kings. She's, she's what sucks away the crown these masculines maybe once were to have on their head. Does that make sense? The emperor being the reverse is like, not only does it attract toxic masculinity, it's like it's giving fallen king. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you, this is very sad. Ace of Pentacles, this is someone who wants a fat payout. This is someone who wants either compensation. The Ace of, that's exactly, this is someone who could be like operating from gold digging energy. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is... I can't do it on my own. I want this fat ace as a result of some kind of verdict. Okay, this is someone who's looking for compensation for something or was looking for something, um, yeah, in this breakup. It's like, yes, yes, I'm hearing you got to pay for this breakup. Two of Cups in the reverse and Six of Pentacles. The scales will balance when you pay this. <laughs> this one over here. <laughs> yeah, this person's a whole hot mess insisting on getting paid. That's what would make this person happy. 
This is someone who's really upset about this for some of you. For some where there's children involved, that could be the case as well. But I'm seeing someone here who's really unhappy by their choices because they operate from this level of emotional unavailability. I'm some I'm hearing some of the seat off their pants or something like that. What a mess, y'all. This is someone's story. Yeah, wow. For some of you, there's somebody here who had attempted to do black magic and it's backfiring. This is someone who does this, I'm hearing. So this Queen of Wands does resort to manifestations that get them whatever they want. I always get what I want when I want it. Yeah. This could be someone who mirrors what people want to see with copycat energy. I will reach out to you in the reverse. I guess they're not that into me. This is someone who reaches out to maybe wives. Uh, it's giving the head, the head, the main bee in charge. This is someone who tries to contact them. And it's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting that. It's really in this image. Like, we should get coffee sometime. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> what the hell? Because it's like, whenever they're threatened by a person not being like into them as much, they go and contact the person that maybe they're dealing with as well. It's very strange behavior here. Yes, because this is someone who's trying to compete. What a mess. Yeah, and this is someone who could be hiding behind fake profiles, okay? Yes, they, they put on certain shows and then hide behind fake profiles. I'm seeing certain proceedings that affect um, someone's living situation. I'm hearing they have no choice but to move. Someone has no choice but to move. It's in this four of wands in the reverse. Judgment is being called on a property for some, a home. Something could be seized, okay? I'm getting that energy and it's like they have no choice but to move. This is someone who, this is how this dark spirit collects. This is how the dark spirit within this woman collects. Yeah. Oh my God, y'all think I'm playing with you? I didn't even know this. I just shuffled. Look, what did I call this person? What did I call this person? A Venus flytrap. What is that? <laughs> Carnivorous, carnivorous flower fairy attempting offer with a high price. Who's the tempting offer? The Queen of Wands, the Empress in the reverse. What is the high price? Whatever this man is answering to is the highest price of all. I'm getting that highest price. I'm getting a very strong. For some of you, somebody is bidding on things. It's like highest price. Maybe, maybe the government or something sees an asset and it's like the highest price goes to that bidder. What? This one, <laughs> this person has a negative entity that is literally, I'm hearing laced with honey. I don't know why honey is so specific. This is someone who traps people and when it doesn't get its way, this is how it has to answer to it. Grumpy energy, this is a very troubled energy. A clear solution, yeah. This is someone who will always find a way, always find a way to get what he or she wants. It feels like a woman, but a queen of wands could be a feminine man as well. Take whatever applies, but I'm getting strongly a woman. <laughs> she don't give a dang. No, nope, I'm hearing nope. Oh, yeah. A favor for a favor, tit for tat, give and take, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. It came in the reverse. This is someone who's collecting. This is how the devil is collecting in a situation. And there's someone who's in love with the masculine, who entertained someone like this, okay? And spirit wants to show you why you best move forward with your life, because this is someone who's answering to this karmic situation this person could be losing out on a lot this person is going somewhere with their tail between the legs because they're very embarrassed about this whole situation oh sweet nothings tells you what you want to hear a heartbreaker that's that 
that's that person who's a nomad who's like hey what's up i love you yes da, da, da. let's do this this is that that's the knight of cups on a whim literally this is someone who loves sweet nothings but they did it with the worst kind the worst kind Whatever this person has on them could get them locked up, y'all. For some of you, they free themselves. But it's like, it's that bad. This person just wants to leave, move, skip town, whatever that, that may look like for some of y'all. Locked up, stuck, weighed down, gripped and burdened. This is like, okay, let me just avoid this mess altogether. Yeah, illumination, brighter days ahead in the spotlight. A huge light is being shed on this case, I'm hearing. Oof. Something bad could have happened. I really feel an accident could have occurred. Something terrible happened here. And I also feel the person who, who once upon a time dealt with this individual is being cautioned by this whole situation. Yeah, this is someone who had to repeat a lesson. It's an exchange. It's a, it's a divine exchange. You chose to entertain or repeat the cycle with a Venus flytrap. And this is how you have to answer to it. Yeah. This is someone as well who's very much so in denial of themselves. This Queen of Wands could even be watching. <laughs> That's why this card came out. It's like, well, dang. These energies, clearly they watch tarot land because they be dabbling them damn selves. <laughs> it's really sad. I'm getting somebody who's heavy set in denial of themselves. Weird, y'all. I'm getting this stiff energy right here. That's probably why the reading is here. Yeah, this is a very jealous individual. A hot mess. Yeah, the tea is very hot very hot today yeah somebody could have blackmailed a person and i'm hearing this poor soul wants to repent for having dealt with the venus flytrap someone literally is in a state of need and wants to repent for having dealt with the human embodiment of a venus flytrap this is someone who could have held... I'm telling you, there's some kind of text, something on a phone I'm hearing that literally proves this person being guilty to a case, okay? I can't make it up. Split the deck on this. I'm currently receiving karma for my wrongdoings. The top of the reading highlights someone who is in love with a person who is literally dealing with their karma and you best move forward with your life in this season because this is someone who's answering for a lot of big things here. It's like, what can one do? I mean, this is a very miserable person. This is someone who has a wound that everybody else needs to answer to. Whoever this Venus flytrap is, okay, this is someone who has a wound that everybody needs to answer to. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands in the upright, that's why, that's the laced with honey, right? Because the Queen of Wands in the upright is very attractive, typically. The Empress in the reverse to the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is how this person's spirit really carries about. That's the trick. But this reads like a vortex. It's like once you get sucked in, you best answer to whatever comes with it. This person has an addiction. Check yourself. Dang. Somebody might need to go to the doctor and check themselves. But this is this, is this energy getting checked checked okay somebody maybe had to do some kind of psych evaluation as well game over or some kind of doctor's test or somebody had to do a drug test or some kind of some kind of test and it says game over this is how the game ends 
and someone lost big time. And I'm, I'm seeing something about a bidding. Destroyed, shattered, broken, and messed up. Somebody could have broken glass, broken something, literally broken something. Sexual protection in the reverse. So this is someone they had reckless intimacy with as well or bugged them for it. My goodness. We have fake apology. I feel like this energy returned to this person. Yeah. For more good times. My goodness. A lot of envy here. This is someone who envies maybe a love story or this is what they wanted or they have that fabricated sense of reality. This is someone who's under... I feel this is someone who's dealing with negative attachments. They are constantly fighting off spiritual warfare with whatever is operating through them, using them just like a host. It's like they're just the host for the Jezebel spiritual act on God under spiritual attack, fighting off negative energies, needing to clear your energy. Whoever this feminine is, you need to clear your energy. This is someone who knows exactly. Well, this is someone who I swear, I swear to God, y'all. It's like, this is someone who doesn't want to hear this. And they're watching and they're here. This person refuses to look at themselves long enough to get rid of whatever is collecting on behalf of the goat man. Does that make sense? The gold man is just using you like a pawn in this game. Be rid of this so that you don't have to do this anymore. Because your no amount of revenge can remove the misery. You need to heal. Period. Out here throwing magic, taking people to court for whatever it is. Y'all... nightmare this is someone's living they are the living nightmare and again i'm hearing laced with honey something about honey did someone do something with honey i keep hearing this is someone's worst nightmare laced in honey <laughs> this person could be sick this person could have made another sick this person could be sick to their stomach I'm also seeing somebody here who's avoiding this energy or always proclaims to be busy. I'm hearing read the words on the cards. Delay, stress, alarm, busy, rush, late, and time management. Evidence of cheating. This is someone who might have brought something forward in a court case. Astral projection, intimacy. This is someone who... The negative spirit transfers through intimacy. This is someone who has a sexual addiction. I can't make it up. This is someone with a sexual addiction. And they're very argumentative when they don't get their way. Yeah, we really do know the tea. This is the second time. I don't know if this is tea time for somebody. I'm hearing, I know exactly who you're talking about. There are multiple energy, multiple people here on behalf of this Queen of Wands. This is a snake being unmasked. It's, it's just the way it is. I'm hearing that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. <laughs> Seriously, bad choices. This is someone who fell for the Venus flytrap. I can't make it up, y'all. I'm hearing snatched. His soul. That's <laughs> literally what I heard. Snap. His soul. Ayo, look here. Thirsty. I can't make it up. Desperate, obnoxious, and annoying. That's the whole empress in the reverse. I'm also hearing the word self-serving. A mess, y'all. Yeah. Preacher, knowledgeable, great speaker, and motivator. Wow. Bozo. Admiration, fascination, eyes on you. Clown ass, dumb ish, says dumb ish. I, I feel someone has been made, um, someone has been mocked, okay? I don't like this. We have body, and I see this fruity energy in the reverse. There's something here that's really bad. 
And that's why I, I, I warn. I warn the person who operates like a host for this energy. And I say why. Because the things and the, the games I'm hearing, the games you play with powerful people, you need to be aware of. Because there are certain things people do not want to have come to light. Yeah, this is a warning. This person is getting themselves very much so involved in the trenches with people who would be willing to do many things to keep certain things a secret. Yeah? Yeah. So, these fun and games, it's all fun and games until someone is willing to shut you up. <laughs> this is going to be a 24-hour reading. For this reading, ex reason exactly. Or I should just leave it up. Because people think they can play games with certain individuals when it's like, no, there are certain things people are willing to do. Two miserable, <laughs> miserable Jezebel-like energies. Yeah? Two miserable Venus flytraps to keep their trap shut. This is not a game for someone here. They're playing a very dirty game. This is, you're, you're being forewarned, I'm hearing. Because the games you're playing here and holding things over people's head, I'm seeing blackmail, I'm seeing tit for tat, I'm seeing taking people to court, them losing out on a lot. There are a lot of people who are willing to do a lot of things to keep your Venus flytrap shut for good. And I promise you, this is only chilling to the individual who knows the game they're playing and it's like, this is game over, stop the game. Stop the game. This is for your own protection. Cleanse your energy. Be rid of whatever is just using you. Because this entity is just using you. And not only are you getting other people in ish, you're getting yourself in deep ish. They, they are a nightmare, but they are their own worst nightmare if they keep these things going, y'all. This is someone who could be obsessive, stalking people, doing the freaking most. And for what? So that you can dig, a, dig basically dig your own hole. It's like, stop. <laughs> stop. Go heal. Go heal. This is a warning reading for a karmic. A whole karmic, y'all. It's like... This is the kind of person that likes to just pull the curtain on people's lives. It's like, oh, they, they're terrible in this, they're, they're this, they're garbage, they're da, da, da. And it's like, they might threaten for people to get in jail. You know what some people are willing to do? Stop meddling. This is a meddling Jezebel Venus flytrap looking ass spirit that needs to sit down somewhere. But again, the spirit doesn't care. You are the fall guy for this spirit operating through you. Literally, take your behind in a church and get cleansed. And I'm only speaking on it because this person is watching. I can't, I can't say it enough. Multiple of them. Multiple are watching. Because I saw tea time. Multiple are watching. You need to go get help. You have a partner in crime at that. You and your partner in crime need to go get help. Either that, but it's like, you know what the worst part is? Maybe this partner in crime doesn't have that negative energy attachment. They don't deserve to be a pawn in your shenanigans. Leave her or him out of it. This person who's a Venus flytrap, I hope y'all are following, literally has a friend that they do these egregious acts with or they do stupid things with or they meddle in people's lives yeah your your friend could get in trouble on your behalf if you even so much as care get rid of this issue you have snitch tattleteller coward a rat this is this person they love to nuzzle their way in and basically screw things over for people not thinking they'd have to answer to something you know what they do to rats Stop it. <laughs> Stop.
stop it this is a forewarning y'all i feel like this th this reading is here because it's almost like their spirit guides want me to warn them to stop May this be the last hurrah you do. Because it could actually be your last if you don't stop. A hot mess, y'all. A hot mess. A whole hot stinking mess. Mad evil eye too. Yeah, this is someone who had childhood trauma. It says, my childhood traumas affect how I act as an adult. Whatever happened to you in the past, you have to heal it because it's like you operate from that trauma in ways where something else is operating for you when you act like this. You, are, you, you turn people against each other. Look, I'm telling you, this is someone who turned two masculines against each other, multiple people against each other. For fun and games, this this if this person goes continues, I'm hearing continues to go down this path, it's a very dark path for them. I keep hearing they're willing to shut you up. Someone is. I don't know who because this person does it to multiple people, y'all. To multiple people, there will be one who's willing to shut you up. The card came out. The card came out, y'all. This is someone who's watching. They stalk. They watch obsessively. Well, I hope you learned something from this experience because this reading is here for a reason. All these karmics better give it up. It's not. Fu it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt, y'all. I know what I'm reading. That is what I have for you. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.